Good morning, students. How are you all doing today? I hope you all are good and doing healthy. Okay, students. So let's begin today's session. Before I start, I would just like to do a quick recap what we did last week. In the last week, I sent you a revision assignment. I hope you all have done that revision assignment in your copies because it will be checked whenever the school opens. Okay, so let's begin with today's session. Now, in today's session, we have uh, again we have two videos. Okay, so in the video one, I'm showing you what all topics we are going to be covering. So in uh, the whole session of today, I'm going to be covering your writing section. Today, I'm not going to take up any reader chapter. I'm going to be uh, going through your writing and grammar section. in the writing section we are going to be talking about we're going to be discussing about notice writing and video 2 that is going to be of grammar section where we are going to do pronouns okay and yes of for both the topics practice exercises are also there which is going to be on bbc only so you'll be doing it on bbc okay students so are we all ready now the notes which i am going to be teaching you students i would like you to copy down in your grammar cop in your grammar copies now before yes one more thing students most important listen very carefully i would like you all to divide your grammar copies into two parts okay in the first half you can use that for your grammar section second half can be used for your writing section okay now in case if you have already made a grammar copy then that is no problem at all then you can also use another copy for your writing section so i have given you two options option 1 is that you use only one copy divided into two parts keep one part for your grammar and the other part for writing section or else you can use a different copy for your writing section okay so let's begin with today's session now in the writing section we are going to be starting with notice writing now first what is notice notice is a very short piece of writing a message for a group so when we write a notice we usually write notices for a group okay when we want to inform a group or number of people it is usually written in formal style ab jo notice writing hai uske jo sentences hain wo hum thode formal style mein use karte hain now when i show you the examples solved examples then i will explain you what it what formal style means now the next is it can be written for various purposes kis kis cheez ke liye hum notice likhte hain announcing about an event or function for example your school is organizing uh, annual function or your school is having a dance competition or a poem recitation yes we all, we have it in our school also so when how you used to be informed is a notice a circular used to be come uh, coming to your class and the teacher used to read it out yes so that is the purpose of writing the notice second can be for lost and found of any object third is to address public about all important and important issue this is for example now these days since we know what the situation is hai na so hame kitne notices tv pe dikhaye jate hain that aapko mask pehn ke bahar nikalna hai sanitizer apne saath rakhiye so that is a kind of call that is called public notice but yes public notices are put up all over in our areas also okay so those are kind of public notices now let's proceed further this is the most important thing now pay attention now what is what are the steps of writing a notice now first step is you draw a box okay when you draw a box then on the top of the box we write down the name of the organization or institution or office in capital alphabets in capital letters okay now the next step i'm showing you here is write notice in the center of the box so after writing the name of your school we need to write the uh, the word notice then again 
draw date of writing the notice. Now students, the date has a particular format. ठीक है वो मैं आपको अभी next example में दिखाऊंगी कि date आपने कैसे लिखनी है. उसके बाद next is a suitable heading has to be given. Okay. Now next step is content. Now जो content है it should include these points. First point is purpose of notice. कि हम notice क्यों लिख रहे हैं किस वजह से लिख रहे हैं सेकेंड स्केड्यूल ऑफ द इवेंट मतलब कोई फंक्शन अगर होना है या पोइम रेसिटेशन होनी है आपके स्कूल में तो वो किस दिन होनी है वॉट इज़ द डेट कितने बजे होगी कहाँ पे होगी हॉल में होनी है किसी क्लासरूम में होनी है स्टाफ रूम में होना है एंड ड्यूरेशन मतलब कितने टाइम के लिए होगी ठीक है आपको बताया जाता है ना कि इफ़ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर पोएम सो द पोएम हैज़ टू बी फॉर टू मिनट्स और स्पीच हैज़ टू बी ऑफ टू मिनट्स सो दैट इज़ द ड्यूरेशन नेक्स्ट स्टेप द लास्ट स्टेप इज फॉर सिग्नेचर नेम एंड डेजिग्नेशन ऑल दीज थ्री कम इन वन सिंग आई मीन इन वन सिंगल रो ओके वन बिलो द अदर बीच में आप लाइन नहीं छोड़ोगे राइट सो लेट मी नाउ टेक यू टू बी फॉर्मैट आई विल बी शोइंग इट टू यू एंड एक्सप्लेनिंग द सेम थिंग सो सी इन द बिगिनिंग फर्स्ट वी राइट द फर्स्ट लाइन दैट इज द नेम ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इंस्टीट्यूशन और द ऑफिस ओके so in on this line you will write that then you have to leave a line ek line chhodne ke baad fir hum aate hain notice pe so in this line we are going to be writing the notice now as i discussed with you then yes just below the notice we are going to be writing the date yahan pe humne line nahi chhodni hai okay so date ka format students list, uh, look very carefully date ka format is tarah se hona chahiye first जुलाई 2020 इस तरह से नहीं लिखना है आपने नॉर्मली वी राइट विद स्लैश ऑल्सो स्लैश वाला फॉर्मेट जो है वो रॉन्ग है क्रॉस्ड इट ऐसे नहीं लिखना है सो ऑलवेज राइट द डेट इन दिस फॉर्मेट ठीक है देन यू लीव अ लाइन अगेन देन आफ्टर लीविंग अ लाइन अगेन राइट डाउन द हेडिंग फॉर वॉट पर्पज यू आर राइटिंग दी नोटिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ इट इज अ डांस कॉम्पिटिशन सो वी विल राइट द हेडिंग एज डांस competition um, being held okay so some, this type of a heading we are going to write then again we are going to leave a line and then we are going to come to the content now yes so content jo ho hoga wo humne cover up karna hai content part jo aapka hona chahiye kam se kam 50 to 80 words ka hona chahiye theek hai so yeah and then again leave a line and then after as i told you so this these are the three steps that you have to follow in the end हम लिखेंगे सिग्नेचर नेम अगेन इन ब्लॉक लेटर्स सो इन द क्वेश्चन स्टूडेंट्स यूजली द नेम इज गिवन सो यू विल यूज दैट नेम ठीक है गोइंग टू डू अ सॉल्व आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अ सॉल्व सैम्पल ऑल्सो ठीक है एंड देन यू हैव टू राइट द डेजिग्नेशन द डेजिग्नेशन ऑलवेज विल बी इन ब्रैकेट्स ओके सो नाउ येस एंड देन ऑफकोर्स ड्रॉ द बॉक्स यू कैन सी द होल फॉर्मैट लेट मी शो यू इन होल so as you can see the whole format is in the box okay now let's go over to a solved uh, example one now in the solved example one you can see uh, yes so i'm first going to discuss about lost example okay so yes now what is the question you are okay you are jatin anand of bo valley school new delhi You are a student of class सिक्स You lost a रिस्ट watch in school premises. So write a notice for your school notice board in about फिफ्टी words. Okay? So see the name is given. It is given what is the name of the school. You are a student of class सिक्स See when you uh, get the question, I advise you that quickly first underline the important, uh, you know, important points. What are the important points in this question? The name is important. then the next is bow valley school is important the information that we need then yes you are a student of class 6th then what is lost lost ko underline karenge hum wrist watch ko underline karenge okay and uh, yes these are the important key points hamesha isko use kariye underline kariye because it becomes easy for you to write the notice then so let's again go to the format so as you can see in the first step of the format we have the name of the school so i've written the name of the school in all capital letters then 
we leave a line then we write the next step notice in the center of the in the center and in block letters after this we write the date so date format maine aapko samjha diya kaise likhna hai again you leave a line and then you write the heading so what is see now how our uh, question is going to help us heading hum yahi se le lenge wrist watch lost okay so heading is in capital letters again now again we leave a line so now content as i told you should have three parts what lost where lost how it looks whom to contact so these are the points ye aap hamesha left hand side pe likh lo it will be easy you will not miss out anything so see the content a wrist watch of sonata company has been lost in school premises so this is now again taking you back to the formal style so see students this is a formal style of writing हर एक इन्फॉर्मेशन टू द पॉइंट है हम ज़्यादा कुछ एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर रहे हैं सो इन शॉर्ट एंड क्रिस्प सेंटेंसेस इन शॉर्ट हमने अपने मैसेज कन्वे करने हैं बट इट शुड बी वेरी क्लियर आल्सो एट द सेम टाइम ठीक है सो उसके बाद हम लिखेंगे डिस्क्रिप्शन इट हैज़ अ डायल इट हैज़ अ राउंड डायल स्ट्रैप ऑफ गोल्डन कलर एंड अ स्क्रैच मार्क बिलो द डायल सो हमने तीन हिंट दे दिए हैं That round dial है उसका golden color की है और उसके एक scratch mark है dial के नीचे If found, please return it to the undersigned. A suitable reward is promised. So this is the last line that we are going to write. After that we are going to leave a line again. And then coming to the closing part. So the name I as I showed you in the question it was given. So we are writing the name हम signature कर रहे हैं पहले जतिन आनंद signature हो गया Again, name in block letters. So Jatin Anand, we are writing, and this student is a head boy. So we have written here that head boy designation has come. Again in bracket. Okay, students. So this is with your uh, lost example. Now I am going to solve again. Uh, discuss one found example. It's opposite. So let's look at the question. You are Pooja Kapoor, a student of class six A of Saint. John's Academy, New Delhi. You have deposited a wrist watch you found near your school canteen with your class teacher. इसका मतलब ये है कि आपको एक wrist watch मिली थी and जब आपको wrist watch मिली तो आपकी class teacher जो है वो आपके साथ ही थे Mrs. Meeta Velan. She was she has told you to put a notice announcing the find and asking the owner to claim it from her after identifying it. राइट अ नोटिस एंड पुट इट इन द बॉक्स सो इस क्वेश्चन का मतलब ये है कि मैम ये कह रहे हैं मैम ने स्टूडेंट को ये कहा है दैट यू आर सपोज टू मेक अ नोटिस एंड इन द नोटिस यू हैव टू मैंशन दैट द पर्सन शुड कम एंड कॉन्टैक्ट द टीचर कि मैं सिर्फ मीता को मिले एंड जब वो पर्सन अपनी वॉच लेने आए तो उसको अपनी वॉच डिस्क्राइब करने पड़ेगी बतानी पड़ेगी उसकी निशानी तभी वो वॉच मैम हैंड ओवर करेंगे ओके सो आई होप स्टूडेंट्स अब तक आपको फॉर्मेट क्लियर हो गया है सो आई विल क्विकली गो थ्रू द स्टेप्स अगेन सी सेंट जोन्स अकेडमी न्यू दिल्ली हमने स्कूल का नाम लिख दिया एक लाइन छोड़ी नोटिस देन अगेन नेक्स्ट लाइन आर डे लीव अ लाइन हेडिंग अ गोल्डन रिस्ट वॉच फाउंड देन अगेन कॉन्टेंट सो कॉन्टेंट वी नो वॉट वी हैव टू राइट दीज आर द पॉइंट्स वॉट फाउंड वेयर फाउंड होम टू कॉन्टैक्ट How it looks. इसमें हम how it looks ज़्यादा नहीं describe करेंगे You can leave it also, because description जो है वो जिसकी watch है the owner of the watch, he or she has to come and tell the description. Okay, so let me read the content now. This is to inform all students and teachers of the school that a lady wrist watch of Sonata Company was found. See, हमने बस एक बस सिर्फ एक ही hint दिया है कि लेडीज की रिस्ट वॉच है और सनाता कंपनी की है फाउंड इन द कॉर्नर ऑफ स्कूल कैंटीन यस्टरडे द ओनर कैन कम एंड क्लेम द वॉच फ्रॉम मिसेस मीता रहलान क्लास टीचर ऑफ सिक्स ए ड्यूरिंग एक्टिविटी पीरियड सो विसी हमने ये पॉइंट्स मेंशन कर दिए ना होम टू कॉन्टैक्ट वेयर टू कॉन्टैक्ट एंड वेन टू कॉन्टैक्ट यस होम मिसिस मीता वेयर सिक्स ए वेन activity period after giving her detailed description of the watch 
then we have the signature uh, name and the class so yahan pe head boy head girl to nahi hame pata hai but what we are doing is we are mentioning in bracket that the student is pooja is from class 6a okay so now students uh, your homework or your activity uh, for this topic is you have to solve bbc worksheets 53 and 55 of bbc writing module 2 i'll just show you your bbc worksheets also it will be easy for you to locate them okay students so you can see i am on your bbc bbc module aap loge uh, as you can see here writing module 1 which has the notice module is 2 okay and now i'm opening so this is your first page of notice in the starting only notice is there okay and the homework that you have to do the activity that you have to do this is the solution already given please read this solution also to understand it very carefully and on page 53 you are supposed to be doing this question you have to uh, fill this up and you have to attempt this in your bbc only okay and then again the found one explanation ek example hai yahan pe ye aap pad lo acche se isko pad ke similarly isi ke basis pe isi ki help leke aapne uh, page number 50 ya worksheet 55 pe aapne ye solve karna hai and then this example also okay so this is your activity or you can call it your homework uh, of the notice that you have to do okay students now uh, I would like you to take a short break and return back. Return, come back after uh, two minutes so that we can go back to your next grammar topic, that is the pronouns.